Well, hello to everyone and welcome as you join us for the second of these group stage games. Competition only a couple of match days old, but there have been already plenty of talking points. Much for us to scrutinise over the course of a fortnight or so. Winners on day one, no doubt now, looking to cement their place in the latter stages as quickly as possible. This is one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it, and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Paris Saint-Germain had the perfect opening day, now they look to press on. Well, Peter, there's a very good chance they can play on after what was a good start, and even if they have a wobble along the way, I think this team has a structure and a philosophy that's solidly in place, and I think they can rely on that. So my advice would be keep aiming high. Why not up for some swagger, in parts at least? I think they're capable of it. identify as the key man in this fixture yeah Chiro Immobile he's your classic striker Peter absolutely lethal when he's got a sight of goal he can play both on the shoulder of the defender or as a kind of target man but given his superlative finishing ability his teammates should be looking to get the ball to him in the box whenever possible yeah hard to see past him he'll be looking to put on a show I'm certain of that Lucas, Radu, hoists it forward. That's surely a foul free kick. And it's not taken him long, and that's going to be a booking. It was a sterling effort, and at least he kept it on target. It was, yeah, it was worth a go. That'll be a throw-in. Messi. Kruzawa. Messi. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Aimed it. Header! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Lazio can defend those situations better by stopping the cross with its source. Sergio Ramos gets into the right position to intercept. Foot in. Messi. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run. Looks to clip it forward. Radu gets it away. And it's messy. That's a good foot in there. Well, that's a foul. Three kicks been given. He gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Well, I think the referee would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. Against the crossbar. Messi. Shapes to shoot. 
very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. So we have our breakthrough. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or just getting a runner through the middle now. Goes for goal! Bit off try. Neymar weighed up the options and picked the wrong one. Verratti. Speculative strike. And he's there to hoof it away. Played into the middle. Marosic. Half an hour played now. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1 0. Messi, Di Maria. Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right. He couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock solid. And it's played forward. Neymar goes long. Lucas can get it clear. Strakosha sends that a long way. Luis Alberto. Tries to switch the play. Marosic. Just brushed off the ball there. Petro delivers. It's well blocked, and back out it comes. Crosses it in. You can get that clear. Takes it over to the other flank. Marosic goes on a charge down the left. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Just been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Massive leap! Pizarro is there and he can get that clear. 
very well to intervene. Serbi. 90 minutes up, we're into stoppage time. And it's Immobile. Marco Verratti. Over to the left. And it's half-time here. So there you have it, a close fought half of football. But that it still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A decent game up to now. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front end for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Paris Saint-Germain come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. Already up and running for the second half. Paris Saint-Germain carrying a one-goal lead. Across the field it goes. Marosic. Helps available out wide. And he's cut it out. Oh, it's gone in! Oh, it's an unusual turn of events, and it was an honest attempt to help out, and I suppose it can happen to anyone. moment's crazy confusion but they all count well that's something you don't expect at a match like this but I guess you have to take whatever way it comes and and very gratefully Luis Alberto Marisic gets away from his opponent And it's been taken straight back. Marosic. Could be a trip. Immobile! And the keeper barely had to move. Immobile just didn't steer it away from the goalkeeper. He hit it right at him. It's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. Could be thinking about a shot here. Immobile plays it out to the flank. Cleared without complication. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. Has a pop! Well, that's caused a worry or two. Di Maria certainly could have and should have made more of that. Sergio Ramos does well to read it and intercepts. Neymar. Radu drives it forward. Luis Alberto. Luis Alberto. Immobile. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. PSG on the counter-attack. He gets past his man. Big real chance! And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before and no doubt they'll work it again. So we have a breakthrough. Now how will things develop from here? Radu. Radu goes looking. Pedro pushes to get on the end of it. And it's Messi. Marosic.
Neymar dinks one in. And he's there to clear it. And that's been won straight back. Kuzawa. Closing in on the last quarter of an hour. It's a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Radu. She wants to get it forward quickly. Hakimi. Marco Verratti. And it's Neymar. This could fall anywhere. Going for goal. And that would have been game set and match. Oh, and a real chance to pile on the pressure, and he'll be desperate to get another. Paris Saint-Germain are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. Tries to switch the play. And here's Pedro. Immobile. Timely intervention. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Lazio have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. Paris Saint-Germain just have to run down the clock. Looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. This must be so frustrating for their fans to see. It was almost possession for the sake of possession. Meaningless in the end. Luis Felipe plays it forward. Defenders on the back foot, played out to the right. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. And he has shown him a yellow card. change in personnel yeah it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off his energy levels began to to sag and he was never going to last until the final whistle good challenge he just stood firm Di Maria referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle well, whatever the shortcomings on either side it was a great game to watch just one between them what do you take away from it, Aldrin? Well, it was engaging, if not an edge of your seat.